tired of screwing up, I'm tired of going down, I'm tired of myself, I'm tired of this town. Hi guys, welcome to the uh, latest episode of Fishing Bites. Just come down the steps here, at Mount Wise, because the wind's up a bit, and whilst there's a little bit of a break in the weather, I want to get fishing, but don't worry, I can still see me rod. So, uh, yeah, really don't know what to expect. Sun's just setting. I've got me a uh, pouting bakes there, just starting to defrost. So, yeah, never know. But I'll uh, catch up with you when and if something happens. So, uh, cheers, guys. Well guys, I'm back, but no joy yet, no touches, I've rebated as well and nothing, but I've just put a pouting on my conga rod, so that one's out, out now, there's the lights going down, and I've got a friend here as well, so we're going to have four rods in the water, so God wishes luck, like, we've got to get something, haven't we? <laughs> but yeah, wind, wind hadn't picked up too much either, it was meant to be northwesterly, so coming off our back, it's not not too bad at the minute and it's not too cold so keep going keep checking the baits and hopefully we'll get something cheers guys oh disaster <laughs> i don't know if you see that i was recording it and I, I think i caught the start of the rod bouncing but as soon as i seen it dropped the camera he was swimming in towards me so i didn't want to give him too much because i thought he might snag me up and i missed him <laughs> So he's back out there, I'm going to get a fresh bait on. <laughs> but uh, keep going. Damn. I've, I've got to check the footage and see if I got that then. Just one little buh. And then I did me think. Oh, and... Tired of screwing up. I'm tired of going down. I'm tired of myself. I'm tired of this town. D. Small pond, big pond, the fish are the only difference. City out of harmony, lingering on the dissonance. Fishermen wrapping up citizens with their fishing nets. Sometimes chemicals, some played old imprisonment. Dissidents laughing at themselves. It's a nice little conga. Like Lovely job. Really What's just what we came for? Choice. Protect the borders as we stack up our leaders and defeatism is what we pretend that we keep up. I'm going to try and lift him. Get him with a shot leader, not. He's only a baby. Hey! hey. I'll get the light on him for you. There we go. Only a small one, but uh, it's a start. I've got a good feeling about tonight. I, do, I really do. So I'll get him back, we'll get a fresh bait on, and then we'll have that 60. How about that? <laughs> nice one. Cheers, guys. Guys, we're still here. We're still trying. And after that, after that mad, mad um, ten minutes, you know, with that first little conga, nothing. So baits aren't well. Just rechanged the bait, and that wasn't even getting touched either. But this is Mount Wise. And it's just a small pier we're on here, and it goes. This is all the Tamar River, and it goes right down out. And I've shown you it plenty of times. There's Devil's Point. And I'm on the bite. I'm on the bite on my conga rod. There you go, guys. There's the remnants of my pouting. And he's, you'll find this as well with conga, where your hook comes up past your main line. They managed to play around with it and unfortunately he spat it out. But look at that, but they reverse it. So I'm getting another pouting on. <laughs> but I just thought I'd show you that. It's mad, isn't it? Another thing, guys, is this is the new bait that I've got on. And what I've done is I've hooked him through the head, through the back, made a little slit. 
so we can make sure this barb's protruded. And the reason I've elasticated it as well is just to elasticate the mouth shut so the mouth doesn't open when he's properly defrosted and he'll, he'll spin and you know drag on the line. So we've closed the mouth and then I've elasticated it to make sure that the hook stays in place and that barb is always standing proud and he's nice and sharp as well so two takes with two pout third pout come on And what I find useful is your rotten bottoms. You need to know your rotten bottoms. So I'm just going to talk you through. I've got three different types here and the situations that I'd use them in. Mount wise and the fact that it's so snaggy there, unless you get out on the clean ground. Whilst you see me fishing there, I haven't in fact lost a set yet. Didn't lose a set all night. This is my rotten bottom clip just here and I've put it to a quick link. The key with this is, yeah, your lead goes on it's tied by a little bit of line there. I haven't tied the line on, but when you cast it out, your little red section comes up clip, and it's 100%. It always, always drops it. And let's just say it was attached, this lead was attached to the rotter with 15 pound line, and he got snagged, he'd knock out all the time. So that's 100%, and I'd use that for extremely snaggy conditions where I'm not worried about losing a lead. I just want to catch a fish and uh, I don't want to be tethering the fish up the water because as soon as you park that rig it's there it's still fishing but your rotter 100% works every time. Now if I was fishing mixed ground and I was just lobbing but I still wanted to get rid of that lead because I knew it wasn't completely clean say if I was dropping down for a conger or just lobbing out 30 yards for a conger I've got some little rotters there and that's £4.50 for 50 All we do with one of these rotters is I'll just clip the old rotter off. Obviously the one that is fail safe 100% of the time is the most expensive and these little rotters are the cheapest. And all they are is you clip it on a Gemini quick clip, don't tie it to your, straight to your line. You want that, you want that bit of give there. Clip him on like that when he touches the bottom Sometimes, this is what I'm talking about, it's not 100%, but it does give. I just use it for you know mixed ground and short range as well, because when you've clipped him on, you don't want to be doing a pendulum cast and swinging him around, because he could come off mid-swing, and then whoosh, he's coming off at 50, so that's just for lobs and chucking down. So that's that little rotter. And now I guess you class this one that I'm about to get out as a kind of mid-range rotter. There's a little gap there you can just squeeze him out of. And the eye of your weight will clip on that. Like so, so he's clipped on. Your white cap comes right down to the bottom of the rotter to keep it all in place. Then when you cast it out, the water will push the white clip up. When your leg gets snagged, it eventually pops off. And these are kind of mid-range in price. Little rotters are cheap, the other ones that are 100% are more expensive but these are mid-range. Mate, these are king. And any rock marks where you know that you're likely to snag, use one. Well guys, I've just got back and uh, it was an alright session in the end. Shame I missed those two bites. Really hope you enjoyed, you know, some of the little tips there, especially that one about the rotter because Fishing down there is definitely a situation where you need a rotten bottom. So, uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you later and tight lines.